Okay, so uh, so this week's Kevin Explains Crypto term is Relative Strength Index, RSI. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's probably meaningless to most, most people. I guess if you're a trader or consider yourself a trader and has, have ever used any type of indicator on a chart, uh, then you may or may not be aware of what RSI is. Um, so RSI, Relative Strength Index, it is, it is an indicator, a price indicator. Basically, what indicators are, are they are other ways to look at price move past price movement. So relative strength index basically takes over a, over a set period. So you can set the period of the RSI indicator. You can have RSI indicator analyzed 30 minutes, one day, one year, blah, 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 blah. And it compares 30 minutes to the last 45 days, let's say. That's not the that's not the normal RSI indicator. Uh, that there's usually default settings. I haven't used RSI in years, so I don't remember the default settings. Basically, you compare two times. It's telling you ver based on the average over a time period and this other time period, if the asset is relative relatively has strength, as in it looks like it's going to rise higher, or it's weak, as in it's going to go low. Um, it's it's essential. You know, it, it's basically taking price data from a chart and showing it to you in a different way. For some reason. Most traders, especially when they first start and they become technical traders, because analyzing fundamentals when you're a, when you're a new trader um, can be quite difficult. There's a lot of information coming at you. Uh, so they, usually new traders become technical traders, right? And they have a hard time analyzing a chart because they can't read a chart. So they want something that looks, that looks easier, a, a moving average, just a line on a chart that kind of looks like this. That's just, you know, the last 30 candles or 30 bars shown as a line on a chart. Okay. Great. Or uh, MACD or any of these indicators that simply are taking price or taking some element of price or previous or previous price movement and putting it in some other visual form so that people can see the strength indicator pointing up and saying, oh, I should be buying now. And if it points down, they think maybe I should sell. Um, so that's pretty much what RSI is. Word to the wise, all indicators lag price. If you ever want to be a profitable trader that doesn't fall into all the worries and first of all, you have to learn about psychology. But once you get past the psychology aspect of it, don't use indicators. <laughs> all right. Learn how to read a chart, learn how to understand supply and demand and make decisions based on all the decisions the other people are taking, not based on a lagging indicator that by the time it tells you that the strength is there, it's already there. Right. So you already missed out on a, on, a, on a large portion of that potential trade. Anyway, relative strength index. Um, there you go.